Hello and welcome back to the Pro Tips of Football show. We're back again with another combined 11 podcast. This weekend's biggest match in the Premier League is Arsenal taking on Liverpool. So I'm joined by Pro Tips to Martin and we're going to compare the two uh, 11s that we have picked. Martin, how's it going? Yeah, good, good. Looking looking forward to giving my views on this ridiculously good game. <laughs> yeah, think, it's going to be good. It's going to be a decent one. Do you know... But, Maybe we should have done El Clasico, but then again, there's going to be about 12 El Clasicos this season anyway. We'll probably get another one in, won't we? Yeah, yeah we'll definitely get another one in, but that's a great idea. I'd love to do a combined one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, have to, we have to do one for the next one, because uh, I think this, 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 this Clasico has creeped up on everyone, because it's at Christmas, it wasn't really expected, you know? Yeah, it's a weird one as well, it's at midday on Saturday, that's... Weird time for it. Yeah. Kick yeah, yeah, very much so. Um, right, for sure, look, we'll, we, we'll get on to this then. I think well, th- this one might be the, the fastest one we've ever done. Um, <laughs> well, oh, actually, no, I want to give the old uh, listener reminders. Uh, I put it out on Twitter. If anyone, wa- anyone wants to send in their combined 11, uh, do so. It's probably, it's obviously too late, too late now, but keep an eye on, 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 on my Twitter. I've changed my Twitter name to Pro Tipster Pod. Um, nice. and yeah, you can get in touch with me there with any combined 11s and I'll be uh, sharper in future and put them out with more notice. But, um, yeah, get in touch with us as well regarding our normal podcasts where we look at the football betting markets. If you any, if you have any uh, betting questions or any questions about particular matches or teams, don't be shy. Of course, you can listen to us on iTunes, Stitcher and all those other Android podcatchers and on the Pro Tipster blog as well. Right, Martin. So, um, <laughs> our back five is exactly the same. <laughs> no, it's not actually. I put in one difference. So we're, we're, we've, we did. We've, there's no, you know, Liverpool's defense is so terrible that it's it's hard to put them in there. But yeah. um, tell us then, who have we gone for? Well, in goal, I think we everyone's agreed around the world is Petr Cech. Mm. Um, can't yeah, it's self-explanatory. You just can't even consider Mignolet or Carius. They're just both terrible. <laughs> Although. Um, just looking in the Premier League, Arsenal and Liverpool have actually both conceded 20 goals. So as much as we make fun of Liverpool's offence, they're you know they're, they're neck and neck. See, this is the thing with Czech. The Czech um, with the, uh, at Chelsea, I think he was better. Uh, yeah, he th- he has a mistake in him now. You know, he does. That's yeah. his age as well. So what what but, age is he? Thirty four? Would he thirty four? Thirty five? Would it be? Yeah, about that. Thirty five, I'd say. Okay. Um, I'll just check that now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's 35. Okay. But um, he's on 199 clean sheets as well. So oh, he needs one more to get to the special 200. Well, it won't be against Liverpool. No. He's Tell you that. <laughs> I don't think so anyway. <laughs> so, but um, yeah, right back we've gone for... We've gone for a 4-3-3 three, three formation, uh, which is what, you know, um, Klopp likes to play and Wenger sort of likes to play too, or the 4-5-1. But at right back I've gone for Bellerin. Um... Yeah, I'd actually, uh, the only person I'd probably consider if he was fit was Nathan- is Nathaniel Klein. Klein, yeah. Uh, Klein, uh, Klein or, or even um, the fellow with the long name, Trent Alexander, Alexander Arnold. I like him as well, even though he's very yeah. young. Um, I, I like the cut of his jib. <laughs> he's, he's decent, he's not had enough for me. No, 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 he's, had yeah, he's not he, had enough. He looks half decent. Yeah. But yeah, Bellerin, uh, at right back. The centre backs, we've gone for the same. We've gone for Koscielny and Mustafi. Um, I don't think you consider anyone else really. The only person I'd probably put in instead of Mustafi, if he was fit, is Joel Matip. Um, cause I rate him highly. I think mm. he's doing a solid job at Liverpool. But yeah, he's not fit at the minute. No. So we can't consider him. And Mertesacker's just the slowest player in the world. <laughs> You've got Holden and Chambers, Lovren yeah. and Clavin. So yeah, you can't, yeah, you can't consider those. And then left back is the only where, the only place we've differed. I've gone for, Kalasinac, mainly because if I don't put him in, he'll find me and beat me up. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm a little bit surprised. What have you got? I'm, I'm a little bit surprised by yours. I go for James Milner, even though he doesn't. He has begged Klopp not to play him uh, there uh, this season. Yes. And and in fairness to Klopp, he hasn't. He's I think he's only gone in. Uh, he's only played as a defender once. It's true. So Marino, Robertson, isn't it? Left back yeah, these yeah, days. yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I've gone for Milner just because, uh, no, I, I just really like James Milner. I know a lot of people slag him off, but I, 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 I don't really care why he's always been really solid. 
Oh, yeah, always. you know what you get with him. He, yeah. he always puts in the effort. And he, hard, he hardly ever messes up either. Yeah, apart yeah. From the opening. Exactly. The, the opening. So that, that's why I've gone for him. Uh, that's that's really the only reason. I mean, I do like, I, and I'm going to make a balls of his name here. Kost Kolas Kolasinac. Yes. How do you say Kolas Kolasinac? Kolasinac. Yeah, chat Ach at the end. Kolasinac. Yeah, I think so. Anyway. Yeah, and um, he and he is a tough fella. Like he would he would break you in two just by looking at you. <laughs> great son as well. Like he's only twenty four. Yeah, he's a, beast. Yeah. He's a, a monster, isn't he? Oh. <laughs> He looks and like he's in the mafia, though. Like he's got that kind of haircut. <laughs> yeah, he really does, he's, he's got this yeah, big barrel cool. of a chest, and like he's, he's he, yeah, he'd be, like, he'd be Tony Soprano's enforcer, you know? So, hey, <laughs> hey, give me some money. Like, no, oh, okay, I'm gonna get him after you. <laughs> he's <Yeah. glass. laughs> Um But yeah, we haven't even considered Montreal to be honest. I think last season it was pretty solid, but um, he's getting on a bit now. Mm. He's nearly thirty-two. Mm. But yeah, you know what you get with Montreal. But yeah, that's that's it. Montreal's a bit of a Nothing player. He never gets, you know, he never gets the plaudits. No man of the match or anything. So. No, 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 no. I think. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I don't particularly like Castellani. Um, yeah, I, I, I think it's the fact that we ain't got anyone else. Exactly. <laughs> that's 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 the thing, Martin. I would like to have someone. Else. I'd, I'd have Mustafi every day of the week. No problem. I'd have him in any team, but Castellani. I don't know. He's very hit and miss. He is, isn't he? He's kind of, uh, it's kind of oh, like he's, he, he's, he's, he's too he's soft there. for that role. Yeah. No? Yeah, that's what you mean, but yeah, in comparison, we've got absolute yeah. dross in Lovren and Clavin and we can't consider those. Right then, so, uh, do you want me to give you, uh, Kalashninach here because I'm going to fall out with you in, a, in, the, in the next line? <laughs> I think so. Only because as well that Milner doesn't really play left back anymore. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. I'll give you that one then. But you're going to owe me one <laughs> later, all right? Yeah, um, we'll see. <laughs> Thanks for listening to the Pro Tipster Football Show. Check out ProTipster.com where you can earn money by sharing your tips and coupons. Sign up now and get our free daily newsletter where our experts share their tips. Go to ProTipster.com for more details. Right, what have you got? So, yeah, 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 we're going, we're going 4 3 3. Uh, what have you got here then in midfield? In midfield, midfield three in the centre. I've gone for just holding M. Ray Chan. Mm-hmm. Um, gone for Jack Wilshire in the centre as well. Just pushing on in the three. I've gone for Meza Ozil. Um, M. Ray Chan is. I think you've gone for Chan as well. He's just. He's just a rock. Yeah. He, he's, you know, he's nothing special apart from that overhead kick last season, which was unbelievable. Um, you can see that he's running down his contracts for some reason and Juve and Real Madrid won him. So, you know, you can just tell he, he's unbelievable talent. Mm. Um, doesn't get, doesn't get applauded. He deserves, I don't think. Very, very solid. Um, it's mad. Wilshire, I, 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 I okay. can't, I can't see him at, at Real Madrid. I could see him at Juventus though because he, he'd be a, a direct replacement for, um, oh, the other German international, uh, Kadira. Uh, Kadira. Yeah, you know, that that's it. He's just an absolute. Sure, he is. He's just a younger Kadira. He's exactly yeah. the same type of player. He's the well, same build and, and and everything. You know, I um, think Liverpool would be stupid to let him go. I don't know. Like, I don't know why he's not signing a contract. Whether he's already decided he wants to leave or yeah. what. But well, look, Martin. Sp- speaking as a Liverpool fan, Liverpool are stupid. Full stop. <laughs> you know, they're just, I, they're just, they're, they have no clue. They're just awful. Yeah, you're I probably thinking, oh, we've got Jordan Henderson, it's alright. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God help you. Um, but yeah, we've both agreed on Chan. We've differed on one of the players in midfield. Um, I've gone for Jack Wilshire, controversially. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot stand the <laughs> sight Why don't you like of him? Jack Wilshire. I just um I can't even explain. I was trying to think of how to explain my dislike for Jack Wilshire <laughs> uh when when I saw you you had typed it up and I was like I because it's not really rational. Um I, I don't not know. insult with your family or anything. <laughs> <laughs> if he did I'd just laugh at that. That wouldn't bother me <laughs> in the slightest. Um I, I don't know. I, I, th- I think it's the hype that surrounds Jack Wilshire is the reason I don't like him because he's her- he was well not anymore. He was heralded as this you know great savior of the English midfield. He was going to be the next uh, the next generation following uh, you mm. know Lampard and Gerrard and Scholes and all this. And I 
I, I, I just, I've never seen it. You know, I've never seen what's so good about him. Like, I've always thought that Ramsey was a better player than Wilshere. Maybe because he's a bit more show-offy or something, you know? Yeah. But, uh, and I, I can tell you don't agree with that. <laughs> no, I don't agree with it at all. Like, I don't know, just from watching Wilshere over the years, like, I've been very jealous that Arsenal have a player like that. It's just a shame that he's never really been fully fit for a long period. Mm. And, that, and that's what's killed it for him. He's never really got to the, he's got to the peak the odd, the odd time and then he's got injured and nobody's really seen the real Jack Wilshere and um, I, I'd love him at West Ham. There's rumours that he'll come to us in January because he, he wants uh, he wants to play 90 minutes every week and make the World Cup squad. Mm. But he's just, for me, he's just a complete midfielder. Yes, he, you know, he, he's not one just stand there and pick up the pieces like a canter or someone like that, but he can pick a pass, you know, a killer pass as well, pass and move. He's just so good with his feet. He's calm as well. So people around him, you know, are not, uh, you know, Wilshire's on the ball, brilliant. Let's just, let's just calm down and build from the back again. Whereas, you know, some of our players like the guy that you've gone for, we'll mention in a minute. Um, I just feel like he, he gets, he's not as calm under pressure. He gets the ball, he knocks it off. He doesn't really do anything special, mm-hmm. but maybe you'll argue that he does do something special. No, 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 so I've gone for, uh, how do I say his first name? Giorgio? George, this is why you didn't want to say his name, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> well, I, I actually also had to consider the fact that this is a Premier League combined 11 and I didn't have an English player, so I had to, I had to think of someone. Well, yeah, well, there's no way of me shooing, shooing in anyone vaguely. I, maybe John Flanagan had, that has an Irish name. <laughs> he, he hasn't played in ages, John Flanagan. I don't know what uh, the hell has happened to him. I think he's a bit part player now, I just don't think he's, yeah, He's going to come back into the fray. It's a shame. I, I really like Flanagan. Anyway, uh, yeah, I had gone for uh, Jorginho Vinaldium. Vin- yes. Vinaldum. Vinaldum. See, this is the, you, you're always nervous to say in these fellas' names because you don't know if if the lads on the English channels have the name proper. He probably does. So, Giorgio Vinaldum. He's, uh, yeah, everyone will know him. No, I've gone for him beside Chan because it's such an attacking kind of lineup uh that that we have. That, uh, you know, I want Milner and Bellerin bombing forward and Chan and Wijnaldum staying back, you know, um. Yeah. Do you not think Wijnaldum's a better going forward though? Uh, you see. Uh, At Newcastle I thought he was. Yeah. I think he's kind of sitting a bit deeper at Liverpool and I'm, I'm yeah, not yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, he that. is, he is, he is. And, and, and if you, okay, if, I, I, I can give you the wheelchair argument if you want someone who, who's gonna go forward a bit more. Mm. But if I'm looking at Kostelny, it's Kostelny's my weak link, man. I got, I need some cover for him in mind. That's the way no, I'm mean. thinking, you know. Yeah. Um, but then, man, what, I, I, I might give you it. I might give you I, it. I can't. Get, there's no way Wilshire is getting into this, man. <laughs> 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 um, but what you were saying there, I, 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 what you were saying on him being injured and 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 then getting to a peak and getting injured again. I think that's probably. That's at the root of why I, I, I don't like him or, or I don't, I don't get the hype about him because I haven't seen mm. enough of him being at his best and it's just, and look, it's not, it's not his fault he gets injured, you know, it's like, it's like with Daniel Sturridge. Just yeah, some of these players, they're, they're just made of glass, you know? <laughs> yeah. And, uh, uh, yeah, okay, maybe whatever. When did he come to, when did, when did he start getting well known? Eight? About eight, six, about eight, eight, ten, maybe ten years ago, eight years ago, I suppose. Yeah. You could definitely see something in them, in them then, but I don't know. It's kind of like, like when, when Arsenal players have this hype about them, you're always suspicious because, like, like Theo Walcott, uh huh, he's never really. If you see, <laughs> Paddy Power had a brilliant tweet about him this morning. Uh, oh, I didn't see it. No. Oh, what did they say? It was something like, um. Oh, there's some, uh, basically, Theo Walker gets loads of slagging for being uh, uh, not very intelligent uh, uh, footballer. But but for someone who's getting 140 grand a week to play like he plays, he's obviously a bloody genius. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's very true. So, he's lost his pace as well, so it's nothing off Theo Walker. Unfortunately. No, 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 no. But like, this is, but this is kind of thing. This, you have the Theo Walcott, Theo Walcott, Theo Walcott uh, Jack Wilshire, and, and Oxley Chamberlain as well. It was like three, you know, oh, God, three yeah. guys who were supposed to be like these absolutely amazing footballers, and it's kind of all fizzled out for all of them. Okay, Cham- Oxley, Liverpool fans would say Chamberlain's played recently well the last couple of games, and he has, he's done alright, but, you know, he's never gonna be what, we were told he was going yeah, to be. He's not going to be a world beater for no, sure. No, 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 never. So, right um, then, sir. One, 
I, I was going to say, we all, uh, we'll, we'll put Wijnaldum in there. One random stat is that he scored 17 goals for Liverpool and have all been at home. He's never scored away. That's mad, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. He, always, he always scores nice goals as well. You know? He does, actually. Uh, he's one of those lads who's like... Because, uh, you know, so, so much of... Uh, this might sound uh, like a... Uh, Anti-modern football, but but so much of modern football now, it's uh, they they want goals to be scored from in the box because that's where you have the most chance of scoring. But when the album's like, nah, <laughs> I can see a shot, I'm taking it. Yeah, have you ever watched? Have you ever watched any? Um, you ever watched any Mexican football? Cause yeah, they, yeah, I've watched some Mexican football. Well, don't forget, Ena Valencia plays in Mexico now. Ah, so. right, yeah, because like because Mexican football is mental for shots. Like, oh, yeah. if they can see any bit of gap at all, they'll shoot yeah. from 40, 50 yards, no problem. They don't care at all. You know, it's great. <laughs> Love that type of football. Yeah. Go on, what were you going to say? Uh, oh, no, I was just going to say that Wijnaldum is one of these energetic and irritating midfielders that is, is just a decent box to box midfielder. Mm, so, yeah, yeah. I can see what, I can see why you've gone for him. Yeah. Right then. So, uh, who's, uh, who's next then in your midfield? Well, for me, I've actually got Ozil pushing forward. You've got to have Ozil in your team. I don't care who you are, like, uh, uh, unless you're Paddy. <laughs> um, I mean, my mate once said that he could find his Ozil could find his dad with a pass, and he ain't seen him in fifteen years. <laughs> oh, that's gold. <laughs> um, he's just yeah, he, look, he looks lazy at times, and, and he gets a lot of stick for that. But it's just the way he plays football, and. You know, especially away from home, I guess, you know, you have to put a shift in and he doesn't really do that half the time. But when, when he's at the Emirates, I think it's a joy to watch. And mm. yeah, I just, I just can't think of any other betting, better midfielder pushing, pushing forward and, and looking for the killer passes really. Yeah. Well, look, I, I, I I've put Coutinho here and you have him somewhere else. But yeah. I did, uh, no, I really like Ozil. I, I, I wouldn't say, uh, I wouldn't slag him off around that, cause, you know, he's got this, he's just got a bit of magic about him. You know, and, and he's been, he's been really, really good, and um, uh, this season as well, even though he had a bit of a, a blip last, last time around, but th- this year yeah. he's been good. Um, no, I like him, it's just, I wanted to go for, um, <coughs> excuse me, I wanted to go for a proper out and out striker in my line. Yeah. Uh, so that's why I put Coutinho behind him in the, you know, football hipster alert in the false, uh, false nine yes. thing, you know. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, no, I have Coutinho here, but, um, you no, know, I can definitely see Ozil in the same role as well. So yeah, I'll, I'll concede on that one, man. I'll, I'll give you Ozil, Ozil here. As you probably know, podcasts still grow by word of mouth. Show your support for the Pro Tipster Football Show by telling your football mad friends all about our podcast or by leaving a nice review for us on iTunes. What's your front? Front three. I've gone for the, obviously you've gone for an out-and-out striker as you mentioned. I've gone for the false, um, false nine. So I've gone for Salah on the right, Coutinho sort of on the left of the three, and then Sanchez in the middle. Um, I just don't, I just don't feel on a team like this, I don't think you need a, an out and out striker. I'm not sure, I'm not sure Liverpool, uh, Liverpool and Arsenal combined would, would play that way where they'd be looking for a, for an out and out striker. And I think they'd, yeah, I think they'd just, just play, play better as a, as a free on the front. Um, Salah's a joke. Um, there's, there's, he's probably the best player in Europe right now. Um, if you, you know, if you don't consider your Messi's and Ronaldo's or whatever. Player of the year, player of the month. He's actually the quickest to score 20 goals for Liverpool um, since Ian Rush in 1986. Oh, nice that is, stat. That's great. That is mental That's considering crazy. they've had, you know, they've had like the Robbie Fowlers of the world and stuff like that since then as yeah. well. Plus, plus Ian Rush was on penalties. Salah's not. Good point. Uh. Oh, yeah, that's, very good point. That's insane. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, there, there, there's, you know, I, you, you, you'll have seen the rumours. The listeners will know as well. But the, you know, the Madrid are supposed to offer a hundred million during the January transfer window for him. That, yeah, that's a profit of seventy million, is it? Or sixty-five million, I think. Can't lose him though, can well, you? I know. I mean, they'd never let him go that quickly. I mean, God, I yeah. might there be a riot. In Liverpool, <laughs> which might be fun to watch actually. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, as I mentioned on the other side, I've got I've got Coutinho in this position because mm-hmm. I just I don't know so from the games that I've seen, I think he just loves drifting on the left, cutting inside, and then 
and whipping a ball in from 30 yards into the top corner. Yeah, um, yeah, it's a good point because then you you have like we've both gone for Can on 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 the on that side then behind him, so he'd have he'd have he'd have nice support there and as well, you know. Yeah, I think they link up well together. Yeah, 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 they do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah, I've gone for Sanchez in the middle only because. I think Sanchez tries to do a lot himself for Arsenal and he, and he gets sulky when it doesn't go right. But the guy's an, an unbelievable talent um, and I just couldn't leave him out. So I just had to put Sanchez there for, for what I got. For, to squeeze Ozil in. Ozil and Sanchez together on their day are unstoppable. Yeah, I went... Uh, <laughs> so I've gone more, more or less the same as John. So I've gone Salah. I've Sanchez in my front as well. But I've, I've, I've just gone for the striker. I've gone for Lacazette. Uh, I wouldn't mind Sturridge in there because I'll always have I'll always have time for Sturridge, even though he's he's like uh, uh, <laughs> he's like uh, what's his name Samuel Jackson in that uh, <laughs> in that film uh, Unbreakable. He's just made a glass. Um, you know, but uh, it's a shame as well because he, he's another one like Wilshire that could be could have been amazing if he, yeah. if he didn't get injured. Or- yeah. Well, he was at that season with him and Suarez. That was unbelievable. Like, yeah, it was. And it's, really a shame. Was. it's really is, is a shame that he's never, he never, never come back to that. And and, he, and 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 the way Klopp plays now, he never will come back to it. So, and I, I was surprised that he, he he stayed this season. I fully expect him to go. He's got to go if he wants to make the World Cup, doesn't he? Oh yeah, he has to. Like he's not, he's not getting, good. he's not getting games. He's not, yeah, even though. Klopp has tried to get him in because he does see, obviously he sees the talent there. He's not blind. Yeah. But it's hard. Like, if you're not playing 4 4 2 with storage, it's hard for him because you can't, like, Liverpool kind of play this. It's, it's like a 4 6. You know, there's almost, yeah, sure. you know, there's almost no, like, they have Firmino at the front, but it rotates between them all kind of thing. Yeah, so, Sturridge doesn't work in that formation. No, really, does he doesn't it? because he just he doesn't he just doesn't play as a kind of midfielder, attacking midfielder. He's a he's a he's a you know he's a goal hanger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <You know? laughs> so yeah, so I've I've gone for like I said, just just because I wanted I wanted a striker there for those kind of moments in the box. Um, but yeah, man, to be honest, I think your 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 uh, rationale is better than mine. Because, <laughs> because, to be honest, because to be honest, I don't even really want like is it there. I'd rather have Sturridge, but he's he's yeah. broke. Would you have you considered know? Giroud got injured last night? Would you have considered Giroud maybe if he was fit? No, 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 no. I don't. I, don't like. I, I think he's okay, but uh, no, no. Compared compared to Stur- no, compared to Sturridge and, and like I said, I'd have I'd have either of them over Giroud. He's he's good, but he's not. Uh, he's he's a couple of steps below. Do you? Yeah, I think he, he always gets a bit of stick, and but he's he's always doing a job for Arsenal, and banging in the goals when they need him. Mm. Um, he's not, you know, he's not world class, but he's he's definitely decent he's a, enough. He's a very handsome man as well. Oh, he's beautiful man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very jealous. <laughs> what was wasn't there some TV ad he did? Was it Nivea or one of those? I don't know. Uh, it's very, it's very funny anyway. We uh, spray some deodorant. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah this was very good. Yeah. <laughs> fair play, man. Fair play. Um, right then. So I suppose we'll just, we'll just have, have a run over it again. So check as goalkeeper with Bellerin, Koscielny, Mustafi, Kosal I still can't say his name. Kolasinac. Kolasinac. And then we have in our midfield, we have Wijnaldum, Emre Can, and Mesut Ozil. Our front three then are Mohamed Salah, uh, Coutinho, and Alexis Sanchez. Sounds good, doesn't it? Pretty good. Imagine having That's that team. That's a beautiful team. Imagine, team. imagine the having only, that team. Can, uh, the only one player that I would love to consider for this team is Santi Cazorla. And it's such a shame that he's probably never going to play again. Because he is unbelievable. Is he really not never going to come back? Uh, he doesn't look, I mean, he's just, he's recently had another operation, I think. Mm. I, I honestly, I honestly just don't think he's, he's got, he's got the physical attributes anymore yeah. to even make a comeback, cause he's, he's, he's a horror in- injury, wasn't he? He nearly lost a leg. Yeah, he did, yeah. It's awful, you know. But, yeah, no man, I'm the same, I'd have him, I love Santi Cazola. What a player. Beautiful player. Genius, genius of a player. If you have any betting questions you'd like to ask, don't be shy. Get in touch with Patty, Martin, or Dan on Twitter. Protipster I R L, Protipster E N, or Protipster D A N, or on Facebook at Protipster UK. Right then, so on to the actual match. Um, have you looked at at, at the odds or anything yet, or, 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 or 
what, what is I haven't actually, um, because obviously Arsenal played last night against us. Um, wanted to see what kind of lineup they put out. Shiru got injured, so he's not going to feature at the weekend. Looks like he's done his hammy. Um, I just think I haven't looked at the odds, but I just think Arsenal might sneak it. Be, I think the over two and a half would be ridiculously low to even consider. Let me have a look here. So, now. I, have, I have it open enough. So Arsenal to win two point four five, the draw three point five six. Uh, Liverpool 2.82. Uh, overs, you just mentioned there, over 2.5, 1.52. Oh my uh, god. Over, wow. uh, to get something over evens, over 3.25 is 2.09, so over 3.5 is 2.29. Wow. Yeah. I think if I was Sorry, 2, 2.29, that... did I say 3.2? I meant 2, over, yeah. over 3.5 is 2.29. Hmm. Hmm, that's yeah. a bit short, but. Yeah. I don't know, I just, I, I personally think Arsenal might edge it, because although they're great at home, and I know they, they lost to United, but they actually battered United, it was just, David De Gea was yeah. ridiculous that day. Um, <clears throat> and you know, they're gonna be, it's either gonna be Mignolet or, or Carrius in goal against them this weekend, so, uh, I think Arsenal will score a few. I, I'll probably go for like 3-1, three, 3-2, three, three, maybe. Just having a look here at the head-to-heads. At, at the Emirates, uh, Arsenal have two, for, so from the previous five, Arsenal have won two, drawn two, lost one. They lost last season, three, four, but yeah, uh, the year before was a draw, then two wins and a draw for Arsenal as well. Let me see the goals, goals there's been, yeah, three times out of five, it's gone overs. Um, but I suppose looking yeah. back, looking back five years is probably a bit, too, a bit too much. I don't know. Head to heads are, I mean, I'm like you, Martin. I look at them, but sometimes you're kind of like, I don't know, the team has changed too much. Yeah, exactly. I mean, if if the teams have sort of kept kept their shape from the previous season, it's worth looking at. But, Mm. yeah, if they change too much, you you can't really consider it, really, can you? No. Um, Although, I don't know, I I do look at it if if it's just a bogey ground. If Liverpool hadn't won there for, like, 20 years, no matter how how many times they've changed their team, then I'd definitely consider that stuff. Do you think, uh, do you think, um, do you think Wenger will have learned that from losing against Man United because, uh, uh, look, I think, uh, were you? No, I think it was with Dan on one of the other podcasts was saying mm. that, uh, <clears throat> I was saying that, uh, Arsenal, Arsenal just got it wrong because they, they expected United to come out and United didn't, so Arsenal sat back and then United went, oh, okay, so <laughs> let's, let's score two easy goals very quickly. Um, but yeah, they need to sort that defensive shape out. Like they can't give it all that that amount of space. No. But I I think Wenger might just be like, right, let's do what you did against United because oh, what was it? De Gea saved like fifteen shots or something yeah, silly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mignolet is not saving fifteen <laughs> shots, is it? Let's be honest. So <laughs> no. I, I I think Wenger might be like, you just keep doing what you're doing against United. Keep it a little bit tighter at the back. Don't make stupid mistakes and. Um, Liverpool will get chances, but I think Petacek is is good enough to to keep them out. Um, so it'll be interesting to see. But I, I, I'll have I'll have a little a few pennies on Arsenal. Thanks very much, especially over evens at home. Yeah, yeah, especially with, like with that home record, it's the mm. only, only lost once this season. And, and I was looking up as well that the last time they lost before that was against uh, Bayern Munich back in March, I think. Oh wow! And they lost, and when the last time they lost at home in the league, I think was against Watford, about two or three weeks before that. So I mean, that's that's some run at home. It's just amazing. It's a great run at home, yeah. but it's sort of gone unnoticed a little bit as well. Yeah, 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 mm-hmm. yeah. It's just because they come in for so much slagging because they can never put a proper run of like, like, like you know, a couple of weeks ago when they they got that good result against Burnley, they they hammered Spurs, and then they go and start. Drawing some matches and it's just oh here we go again you know it's a pity it's a pity but look um, right Martin shall we finish up then can you tell everyone where you are uh, on the internet please yes you can find me on Twitter at ProTipster En and personally at ProTipster M and on Facebook you can find me ProTipster Martin three separate words come and ask me any question you like and I'll help you out magic and you can find me I've changed my Twitter to ProTipster Pod. So, uh, yeah, look, that's it from us. We'll be back, uh, tomorrow, Thursday with two podcasts. We'll have a video podcast out and an audio one as well. Oh yeah, just a reminder, this, we, we put this out as a video uh, podcast where you can see, 
the lineups as we're speaking about it as well. So make sure and check them out on YouTube. And we put the video of, uh, out as a podcast on uh, iTunes. And, you know, you can have it as audio as well if you prefer. Uh, look, thanks everyone for listening. You can subscribe to the Pro Tips of Football show on iTunes or on Android Podcatchers. So uh, give us a like, a subscribe. Or, you know, if you're really nice and leave us a review on iTunes, then I'm pretty sure Santa will be very good to you for Christmas. Make sure and check out protips.com for the best football betting tips available on the internet. And, uh, yeah, look, that's it then. We'll be back on Thursday where we'll be looking forward to the final Premier League round before Santa empties his sack. (laughs) From me and Martin, good luck. Thanks for listening, everybody. Don't forget to check out protipster.com where you can earn money by sharing winning football tips. Check us out on YouTube and Instagram. Our handles there are ProTipster Global. Or get in touch on Twitter, ProTipster E-N or ProTipster I-R-L. Bye.